So Battle Lexus has launched its brand new rubber hose tray and there are so many new and useful features added in this latest version of the plugin. And in this video, I'm excited to share with you all these new features and in the process, we're going to learn how to rig character limbs like this using the latest rubber hose tray. So without any further delay, let's jump right into it. First one is adding multiple paints. So first, let's create a new rubber hose. So go to new rubber hose, click on it and rename the hose. I'm going to keep it limp1 and press ok. Now in the effects control panel of the end controller, you can find few settings for the rubber hose. So I'm going to decrease the length. Let's give it 530. From here, you can adjust the realism. I generally keep it 60 to avoid joint bending pops. Now in the bend property, you can adjust the roundness. So let's give it 30. From here, you can change the direction. And from here, you can actually slide and reposition the bend. Now to add a new bend on this rubber hose, select the limp and go to the rubber hose under manage. You can find a button called add bend. Click on it and you have two bends in this rubber hose. Now if you move it, it is going to have a proper rake. And you get the similar settings for the bend too as well. And you can add unlimited number of bends here in rubber hose 3. By changing the slide, roundness and direction values, you can get unique limbs and right now the possibilities are endless with rubber hose 3. So it's time for our example 1. In our first example, we will recreate the leg of this kangaroo using rubber hose. So let's solo the layer and let's create a basic rubber hose. Let's reposition the start and the end controllers. And then let's decrease the length and increase the stroke width. And we will add another bend. Let's bring the illustration layer above and decrease the transparency so that we can actually see the original illustration. Now for the first bend, let's slide up the bend position. And for the second one, we're going to slightly move it down. Also for the first one, we're going to change the direction and let's adjust the roundness of the second bend and also the direction. And now we're going to adjust the tapered value of the stroke property of this limb. So under the style, under basic hose, you are going to get the stroke property and under this, you get the tapered property. And these properties are similar to a normal stroke layer in After Effects. So you can adjust the tapered value, even add dashes, waves, whatever you want. And here we're going to increase the end length and also add some end width. Then I think we can adjust the direction value a bit for the bend too. And now we have a perfectly working rig all by using the rubber hose 3. So now we are going to change the color. So let's give this opacity 100%. Select the limp and pick the stroke color from this illustration layer. Now you can find some issue like there is a small hole over here or the edges are a bit rough. So you can fix it very easily just by selecting the limp and applying few effects. So the first one is Caution Blur with the blur value of 21. And next, Matte Choker with Gray Level Softness 1, 5. And let's decrease Choke 1 to around 15. And here we have it. Now to link the foot with the hose, move the anchor point to the exact center of this end controller. And you can either simply parent it with the end or you can select the foot layer and go under the Manage in Rubber Hose 3 and click on parent to hose. So it is automatically going to link your hose with the foot, but it is also going to auto rotate based on the orientation. So to turn it off, select the foot layer and here you can get an option called auto rotate. Just uncheck it. And with this, you have few more options such as decreasing the percentage so that you can reposition anywhere in the position of the limp or even you can snap it with the bend. Of course, it's not valid for the foot, but you get some more customizations if you want to attach something with the limp. So now it's time for path to hose. So in the latest rubber hose 3, you can rig a custom made shape stroke with rubber hose. So create a shape stroke in design of the hose you want. Then round up the corners and under contents, select the shape path property and 
go to rubber hose 3 and the second button over here is path to hose click on it and rename the hose and press ok and now we have it and all the settings of this hose is similar to a default hose from rubber hose 3 and you can even add multiple bends to it and now it's time for our example 2 in this example we are going to recreate one limb from this ant so create a stroke shape and let's decrease the stroke width to match the width and round the cap and the corners so now select the shape path and click on path to hose and here we have a properly rigged shape stroke so when we move it in one direction it works pretty well but if we suppose want to change the direction of the bend then we have to adjust this direction then roundness it is going to mess up the whole rig so there is a better option over here in rubber hose so all you have to do is select the limp and then go under the manage and click on auto flip and right now you can easily animate it in both the direction like this and you can actually animate something like this using the latest rubber hose strip plugin by the way if you want to learn how to animate an ant walk cycle without using any external plugin then i have a separate tutorial on it you can check it out from the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial now back to the video now we are going to check out the reusability of a custom hose in rubber hose 3 here I actually found out some issues with the latest rubber hose tree. So first let's check out how to save a custom hose as a preset. So let's create a basic hose. Now under limp, under style the basic hose, let's duplicate it one more time and add a trim path. Let's change the length and also let's change the color so that we can distinguish different styles. And then I would like to cancel the roundness from this style so that I get this pointy elbow style for this hose. Now you can add even more detailing to it. For example, we can duplicate this one more time and, and also change the settings of the trim path to get something like this. Now to save this hose as a preset, select the hose and click on save preset. A folder opens up. You can either save it inside this rubber hose 3 folder or outside it. I would like to add another folder and save it inside that folder and it is going to save this as a preset in another folder here in the style panel itself now to reuse it just add another normal hose and select the hose and just click on this play button to apply and it is going to be properly applied on the hose now everything is working pretty well till now but it actually doesn't save the preset if the hose has multiple bends. For example, create another basic hose and add another bend. And let's change the settings a bit. And let's add few more customizations. Let's say I want to save this hose as a preset. So select the hose, go to save preset and save it. And now this hose has been added in the style panel as a preset. And now if I try to apply it on a basic hose, it's going to pick the other styles but it's not going to add the multiple bends and the customization that I have added in the bends. And now what I found out is that it is saved as a style preset. Now here you can see that there are different icons. One is triangle, then one is dotted circle and then there is another triangle. So these triangles are so maybe it's going to save the bends if we save it as a bend. So if we open the folder of the style under the rubber hose 3, you can see that the bends are saved as an extension underscore bend. Now if we save this as a bend, go to save presets and let's select this and then give it underscore bend. Now you can see that it is saved as a bend. The icon have changed. Now again, if we try to apply it, it's not going to work properly. So this is the issue I found out with the latest version of the Rubberhose 3, at least at the time I'm recording this video. So I think they might fix it with future updates. So I will make an updated video on it if I found out any solutions for this one. Now we're going to check out the style panel. So in the latest version of Rubberhose 3, there are lots of new style and bend presets that are preloaded in the latest version of the plugin. Now to apply it, just select the limp and select the style options and click on this play button. 
and it's going to be applied. And you can just go on and try out all the different presets that are available here and do some experiment with it. And not only that, you can even apply bend preset on a style preset and mix up bend and style to get some unique looking hose like this. And with all the hose, you get all the customization options from color change to all the style changes. Now we are going to check out the latest rubber rig system in rubber hose 3. So these are the three leg layers of this character and to rig a leg like this. First, we are going to parent the foot with the calf layer and then this one with thigh. And then we are going to move the anchor point of this layers exactly at the overlaps. So for the thigh, I am going to put the anchor point over here. but the, for this in between intersection, let's decrease the opacity so that we can see the proper overlap over here. And we are going to put exactly at the center of this circular ship. All right, for the foot, again, we're going to place it exactly at this overlap. And now just select the last layer in the parent chain. For this one, it's foot and click on new rubber rig and rename the layer and press OK. And we have our perfectly rigged leg over here. And when you move the leg, the foot rotates automatically. Now, if you want a manual control for the foot, just select the foot layer and turn off or uncheck this auto rotate. And now you can see that foot is not rotating. Now to rotate it, you simply have to rotate this controller. And finally, we are going to check out add bones to hose. So select the hose and go to manage and click on add bones to hose. And now you have bones added to your rubber hose. And now you actually have the option to attach something to your rubber hose. So for that, create a shape and parent it with its bone layer. And here I'm also going to apply alpha track mat. And here we have it. And remember one thing that if you change the roundness, it is not going to be applied on the bone layer and neither on the shape that I have attached with the hose because the bone layer only takes the transform properties and, and in addition of that, also the slide and the direction as well. Alright, so that is it for this video. Do let me know in the comment section that which feature you are going to use the most. So if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.